For those of you who may be visiting in a Presbyterian church, we have open communion. The table is open for all who love and are seeking to serve Jesus. Communion will be served by intinction this morning, so we invite people to come down the center aisle and return by the side aisles. If you cannot come forward and want to receive communion or you do not want to come forward and want to receive communion, please let one of the ushers know and someone will come to you and serve you. Friends, this is the joyful feast of the people of God. Women and men, children and youth shall come from north and south and east and west to sit at the table of the living Christ. This is a table of celebration. This is a table of commitment. This is a table where you are invited to come just as you are a beloved child of God. According to Luke, it was at a table that Jesus' disciples recognized the living Christ and we're never the same. May we come to this table to recognize the living Christ, be transformed yet again, and be strengthened for the journey that's before us. Let us pray. Holy God, as we begin our Lenten journey, seeking to follow Jesus, wanting to follow Jesus, claiming that we do follow Jesus, we begin to realize we may not even know what this means. We may not know who Jesus really was or who Jesus really is. Then we hear this little voice inside saying, are you sure you want to know the real Jesus? Are you certain you want to hear Jesus' real and demanding call for your life? Holy God, as we begin our Lenten journey, we are grateful you go with us always. We are grateful for life and community with other seekers and others on this journey others who help us discern your claim on our lives, your call to us, sisters and brothers who support and encourage us on the way. Holy God, as we walk this Lenten journey together and alone, give us new understandings, new awareness, new insights, a new transforming, powerful relationship with the living Christ. On our journey, grant us wisdom and compassion to stand with others who need us, for those living in pain, compromised by illness or injury, face to face with their own death or the death of a loved one, in silence we pray. For those who are grieving, despairing, in mental or spiritual anguish, in silence we pray. for our sisters and brothers in the Ukraine and in Russia and for their leaders, for people and leaders in many places of struggle in our world, in silence we pray. For those struggling against great odds, just trying to survive or to provide for those who depend upon them, in silence we pray. Especially on this Sunday, we remember the Reverend Mark James Keeley. We are grateful for his life and ministry shared with this congregation and beyond the Fort Street doors in the metro community. We are thankful for the way Mark broadened our horizons, taking this congregation into interfaith initiatives and work. For the grace he brought to Fort Street, sometimes through thoughtful challenge, sometimes through gentle care, we give thanks. As Ford Street moves forward on the journey, may we continue to discover more and more the reasons you led Mark Keeley to this congregation. As we live into the journey you put before us day by day, year by year, may the gifts, the challenges, the hope, the love Mark Keeley gave to Ford Street and to the Detroit community continue to bless the lives and communities he loved. Now as we come to this table, a table of celebration and comfort, a table of commitment, we come to meet you anew, living Christ. We come to hear Jesus call to us as if for the very first time. We come to find strength for an exciting journey. Amen.